Hello my hungry friends, on this gloomy day we're making comfort food Polish potato dumplings. Kopitka. It is a gloomy day here in Poland today. Again, surprise! We'll be making uh, ultimate comfort food today for you. We're making Polish potato dumplings called kopitka and this is a, a super easy dumpling made of boiled potatoes flour and egg and salt that is it it takes about 15 minutes altogether as soon as your potatoes are done it takes three minutes to fold cut and boil and you're done I have uh, peeled diced and boiled potatoes in salted water and then I just hand mashed them in the pot and I transferred them to my bowl. They're still warm and I like to make these dumplings when my potatoes are still warm because the flour incorporates into them better and I just it's easier to uh, roll out and the, the dough is softer so that's how I do it. So I have one pound of potatoes, uh, one cup of flour, with a teaspoon of salt and one egg. And I'm working with a glove today because I got a bunch of cuts on my hands, but I suggest you uh, go ahead and go without so you can feel how soft the dough is. So I'm gonna add flour here, one cup, and then right on top into the hole goes in the egg. And I'm just gonna swish it around a little bit. So the the yolk breaks and all we're gonna do now is just fold in all together it's gonna incorporate into nice soft dough that we can roll out and boil and kopitka the word kopitka in Polish means uh, little hooves and I'm guessing it's because of their shape and depending on how, I guess personal preference, you can either make them uh, small or big. I like them kind of on the smaller side. Um, so now my dough has incorporated enough. I'm going to just transfer it onto the board, flour the bottom a little bit, and we'll get to rolling. My spoon broke. And you can see how soft and rich in potatoes this dough is. You want to see? See, it's mainly potatoes. It's just a little bit of flour in here. And the egg just works to bind everybody together. But this is, doesn't take very long to knead even, evenly. If you see a little potato uh, lumps in there, that's okay. We don't care about that. We just want it to kind of stick together. And my dough is nice and warm. I can feel it. And it incorporated nicely, just in these few moves. So we can stop now. And I have water ready on the stove. So these will be done in no time, like I said. So now I'm gonna cut a little piece off. Make some room here. And this is how it's done. You're gonna make this guy into a nice long log. And you just keep rolling it out until it gets to the thickness that you like. I like mine about probably inch and a half or so. There we are. This is pretty thin. And now we're going to take a knife and I'm going to cut this guy into a little pieces. So I go at an angle uh, and this is what creates the little hooves that I said earlier. Uh, called kopitka and you can go a little bit longer or you can even roll it out a little bit smaller and make little tiny guys uh, but whatever you do just kind of stay consistent so their their boiling time is about the same 
Let me just quickly. And these are these guys are done. We can throw them on the water. And I will boil this batch just to show you the finished product. But I would suggest that you go ahead and uh, work through your dough, make all of your uh, dumplings, and then boil in batches. So we're gonna co come over here to my boiling water, and you're gonna fill your pot with water, and just add a splash of oil so they're not sticking together. And salt your water a little bit. I'm just adding a teaspoon of salt. And this water has come up to boil already, and I turned it down about halfway, so about medium to medium low. And there's really no bubble, there's just tiny bit bubbling in the water. So we're gonna go ahead and pop these in, and they're gonna sink to the bottom right away. And when I throw them in the water, I kinda like to throw them through the little rings of oil so they get a tiny coat and hopefully they won't stick together. And this is our whole batch. And I'm just gonna do this little twist of my pot. Or you can do the twist of the water and that kind of gets them off the bottom and not sticking. So these are gonna hang out here until they come up to the top of our water and then we'll let them sit for about two minutes uh, to make sure they're cooked through on the, on the inside and they're not raw dough. Uh, this dumpling is often served I like this a lot with sauce. So we would always make either like a pork goulash, uh, you'd saute uh, probably um, like a pork shoulder type meat. Uh, you dice it and you saute it a bunch with onions. And I have a recipe on my page. I'll post the link below in the description. And then you make this rich goulash and you put these in your goulash and you kind of squeeze them with, with your fork and just so delicious. Um, you could also, once they're boiled, throw them onto some butter and saute the outside. I think that's how most of you like to eat them. Um, but you would throw them into butter and they would saute nicely. You can throw some mushrooms even in there and onions and just eat them like that without, without any other uh, protein. So as you can see, my dumplings are starting to come up. And see how my water is not rolling? You, you don't want the water to be boiling super hard because you want, the, you want them to have a chance to, the heat to go all the way through without making the outside super soggy. So they're cooking evenly. Now they're almost to the top. Almost all of them are to the top. So I'm going to give them another couple minutes and then we'll finish it off. Our Kopitka potato dumplings have been hanging out here for uh, no more than two minutes. Uh, they are happy. They're dancing around. They look done to me. I'm going to take them out and we'll do the tasting. I'm going to taste my Kopitka with some bacon bits and sauteed onions today. I love that combination. These guys are soft and they're not super, this recipe doesn't make them super doughy. There's more potatoes in them than flour. I just love them. And I have prepared some onions and bacon here. I have some bacon bits and onions here. Look how nice and soft they are. They're not, I mean, they're gonna be doughy because it's dough, but they're, it's mainly potatoes. I'll take a bite. Mm. Awesome, really soft. They need some gravy some mushroom gravy or like I said pork gravy um, they're just delicious they're home home cooked meal 
They're, they fill your soul with love. Cook some at home. Feed them to your family. Enjoy. It's much nego. If you like this or any of my other recipes, please subscribe to my channel, like my Facebook page, and follow me on Instagram.